Hey guys, it's me, Jimmy. And today I am going to be talking about Wings Club Season 8. So, if you don't know what Wings Club is, it's a show where six fairies, they save the day and all. They have these magical powers. They have their own kind of special ability, their own kind of powers. Like, say you're the fairy of nature, fairy of the shining sun, and fairy of the dragon flame. Like, you have your own kind of power. So, it's been around for 15 years. And a lot of people love the art styles. They love the transformations. And that all changed this year. So, don't get me wrong. I kind of like it, but I would actually rate it for, like... I'll give it a one, so yeah. And I'm not really doing this to hate on the new style. Like, it's okay. But I just really think that it will never be as good as the old Wings Club. So, if you like this new art style, I respect your opinion and you should respect mine as well. Like, I'm not hating on it or anything. I'm not saying I love it, and I'm not saying I hate it. Like, I think the transformation is really pretty. Like, cosmics and all. But the thing I really don't like is the eyes. Because the eyes were so iconic. Like, in the old Wings Club, their eyes were from, like, their eyes were really different from what it is now. And their specialists, they kind of look like girls. So they look really different, guys. So I'm going to show you what the specialists look like now. So, yeah, this is a new version of the specialist. So as you can see, Sky, Nex, Timmy, Brandon, and Helia. So you can see that they kind of look like girls, and people have, have been having a problem with it. They are terribly hated because they look like girls, and they think that the Wings Club, well, might be gay, even though they're not gay. But the thing is, boys have eyelashes too, but it's just weird that cartoon boys have eyelashes. Like, they're not used to that. Anyway, guys, sorry about the audio. I don't know what went wrong in that part. But as I said, it's weird to see cartoon boys have eyelashes because a lot of people aren't used to seeing cartoon boys having eyelashes. But in real life, boys do have eyelashes. But in cartoons, it's kind of weird for us because you, they look like girls. And the main problem is Riven. People have been mainly talking about how Riven looks like and how he looks like Tekna, and I don't think he looks like Tekna. So, yeah, the reason why I don't think he looks like Tekna is because Tekna has lighter hair, and, like, Riven has, like, a darker skin color, like, like, um, Tekna is kind of pale, I think, and Riven's hair is, like, dark. So, Riven is Riven and Tecna is Tecna. They don't look alike. But if that's your opinion, I respect it and you should respect mine. So, another thing I don't like about this new art style is Helia. Because Helia used to have long hair in earlier seasons. Like, not earlier seasons, but he, he did have long hair in the seasons, you know. But... His hair changed throughout the series, and I like him better in the season 5 through, no, season 4 through 7 version, because he changed his hair in season 4. So, I don't really like how his hair seems so shorter in season 8, but you may be thinking, Janine, Sky cut his hair in season 5, so why are you complaining about Helia's hair? Well, I don't really care about Sky's hair. Like, I can accept that, but I just really like how Helia was, like, the last specialist of the group to have long hair. 
And I was interested in more of Helia's long hair than Sky's long hair. I like Sky as his short hair version more than his longer hair version. I like Helia's um longer hair. Like some people liked his hair when it was like straight from season two through three. But I actually liked it when it's spiky and all because it makes him look cool. So, yeah. So, the most liked thing in this season is Valtor. So, if you are a fan of Wings Club, you might have remembered Valtor from Season 3 when they had Enchantix. So, here he is in Season 8. And some people really like Valtor. And he actually looks pretty cool. Like, I'm not really a big fan of Valtor. I just, like, I don't really like Valtor at all. Because he's so evil and people are shipping him with Bloom. And that's the thing I don't really like. But that's their fan fiction. So they have their fan fiction. I have mine. So I think Valtor is worse. Wait, 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 wait. Let me rephrase that. Valtor is not worse. He's actually, like, pretty good in his art style. The thing is, the thing is I think he is the worst villain. Because I just don't really like him. That's all I gotta say. He's evil. Like, I think he was just harassing Bloom. Like, um, he wasn't really harassing her, but he was just messing with her. But here's another villain. I do not know what the heck this is. It sucks. <laughs> it looks so, he looks so weird looking and ugly. And another version of Griselda. She actually looks pretty good, actually. People say she don't look like an old hag anymore. And then we have Miss Farragonda. She looks pretty good, too. So, yeah, pretty much. So, let's talk about the creatures in the new season. So, what what they call is a lumen. So, this is Twinkly the Lumen. And as Stella said in the trailer that she's from a star thingy. I forgot what she said. I think it's... Lumania, it said a light star power world scenario. I think that's what she said. She said something about Lumania or something lighting up Solaria. But she's actually a really cute character. She reminds me of the Pixies. I'm not sure if the Pixies will be able to come back this season. They were only in like a few seasons, I think. Okay, so switching on to Kiko. Bloom's pet rabbit that we all know and love so kiko is a really cute character and guess what they actually made him more cuter in season eight like he looks like an anime bunny like i think he's the only one who looks anime in this series i don't think that it looks com that the other characters look completely anime but i think like Kiko is the only one who looks anime. Like, he's a cute little animal, and here's him up close. Because I really want to see if you guys will get sick by this cuteness. It's really cute. And look at that mouth, though. Like, he's adorable. So, my favorite character is Bloom. And then, here's the old version of Kiko she's holding. And I love Bloom, so she's kind of pretty, though. Then there's Tecma. So, she has her short hair, like always, but it seems lighter in season 8 than it was in other seasons. And then we have Amazing Aisha. Her hair is lighter too, and she has a skin color. Then we have Princess Stella. Like, I think all their hair has turned light. Then we have Flora. She's sweet and kind. Then we have Misha. So, all the hair is light now. Like lighter. Here's a comparison of the specialist, one of them, Sky. And then here we go with the wings of. So now let's talk about the transformations. So they are. I, I don't know if this is official, but they're coming out with a new version of Sirenix. A transformation from season 5 that looked totally different. They all have Bloom's color. And 
They used to not match with the transformation, but now it does because it's so mermaid-like. And then we have Cosmics. They have starry wings and like, they're like starry. So it's more of a Stella transformation. So I think it's Stella's trying to shine. But what was I trying to say about Cyrenix? So they did say that Cyrenix is coming back, the transformation. But we don't know what Rainbow is going to do. So that was the official picture. But yeah, and then the Cosmics. And then we have a picture of the Butterflex transformation. And as you can see, what everyone is having a problem about is Flora and Aisha. So they they don't really like how they whitewashed Flora and Aisha. Like, I don't really have a problem with Aisha's skin color. Because I think it still looks like it's darker. And, she, and I still think she's still a black girl. But Flora, she used to have like this caramel color. But now she's really whitewashed like i only have a problem with flora not a problem with aisha aisha looks totally fine but anyway i hope you guys liked my video about wings club season eight and i am actually going to be watching some clips about it so see you guys next time and yeah i'm talking during during my outro so, I am going to be seeing Season 8 to see if it's good or not. Like, the animation style might not be good, but we'll 